write and you write so frequently i love reading your columns you. do you feel the burden or is it naturally your view and therefore it's a feminist view what i'm saying is do you feel the need to consciously look hmm. for to look at things from that perspective you know first of all i have to say like if you're a feminist that's not the only thing you are right each one of us as yeah. people is made yeah. up of so many different identities yes. right and the feminist identity is part of my identity as much as an awareness of anything else but i'm saying as a journalist as a filmmaker and as a thinker when you look at an issue isn't it just natural to look at it from all angles one would it's called giving a holistic perspective people are always talking about objectivity but what is called objectivity in journalism is like tremendously one sided is a tremendously limited view of upper class upper caste men actually right and that is a training that is handed down to everybody as this is the way to look at issues this is neutral which is in fact completely limited right so i am saying that i think when i write columns or when i write about anything or talk about anything i have made a film about copyright and capitalism mm. but my feminist self doesn't go to sleep there now how can i be so fragmented so obviously when i am looking at a topic like public toilets and gender i am thinking very strongly from the point of view of what is needed for women and yet women and men are different what are their needs how does the city accommodate all these needs and when i'm talking about a topic like copyright or net neutrality i'm taking into account many different angles but i'm never leaving out the feminist angle and actually i really can't understand why one should so i actually wonder is it unconscious or is it so conscious it is just natural yeah. i mean it is just yeah. the way yeah. you you would look at any issue from all perspectives mm -hmm. and one of those perspectives is the perspective of gender but you would be very very remiss mm -hmm. if you looked at it from the perspective of gender mm -hmm. and didn't look at it from the business uh, from the perspective of class mm -hmm. or caste or geography or for that matter profit making like you know if i say that well there should be no profit making then there cannot be any business in society and that's not how societies and markets function so actually when we say we want to look at something in a complex way we are saying we want to look at all the different angles that, that go into make making a society yeah. yes and feminism actually really allows you to do that because it's not only talking about women feminism is talking about gender which is what makes us women what makes us men what is trans what are the different sexual identities yeah. all of these things exist in society how can we not look at them and secondly these things don't exist only overtly yeah. they exist covertly in the nature of our relationship yeah.